The 100% owned Woodlark Gold Project is located in neighbouring Papua New Guinea, which hosts some of the world's largest gold deposits. The Woodlark Gold Project is located on Woodlark Island, which is around 600 kilometres east of Port Moresby and is accessible via both air and sea with established landing strips and port facilities on the island. Geo-Pacific has a strong relationship with the local community. With the majority of the future labour force living locally, the development of the project will provide positive social, educational and health benefits while maintaining competitive operational costs. The project currently has three defined gold deposits for a combined 1 million ounces in gold reserves and 1.6 million ounces in gold resources. High-grade gold mineralisation sits near the surface, as seen in red, driving significant upfront operating cash flows. Immediate resource growth potential also exists beyond the blue sections of the current pits. The project is underpinned by a robust mining and production profile. An initial 13-year operation will produce over 100,000 ounces of gold per annum in the first five years and over 1 million ounces over the current project life. However, the project holds even further growth potential, as Woodlark is a highly prospective, multi-million ounce goldfield with significant exploration upside from its 600 square kilometre exploration licence. The definitive feasibility study was completed in November 2018 by industry leaders and key technical aspects have been validated by independent technical experts. The study confirms a high margin, technically robust development opportunity that generates significant upfront cash flow and a rapid project payback period. Mining at Woodlark will be across three defined deposits, targeting the highest grade gold first the standout feature for Woodlark is the low waste required to be moved to mine the ore, particularly in the earlier years. Low waste allows for very competitive all-in sustaining costs, which is a key driver in high margins, generating upfront cash flow. Woodlark benefits from other low-cost drivers, such as a flat topography, easy access to all project areas, outcropping mineralisation and a supportive local community. Geo-Pacific has an experienced team with a strong track record in developing projects in remote locations. After successfully raising $40 million in capital, Geo-Pacific commenced civil works in late December 2019. The mobilisation of equipment and personnel to site marked a significant milestone for the project, with personnel being flown in by local carriers and equipment arriving by barge from Layport. Contractors HBS are repairing existing roads, constructing new roads and undertaking bulk earthworks operations. The construction of a new wharf and causeway road will divert traffic away from villages and will ensure for efficient transport of equipment and supplies during the construction and production phase of the mine. GR Engineering have been selected to design and construct the 2.4 million tonnes per annum carbon in leach gold treatment facility located between the two main open pits, along with the supporting infrastructure. In March 2020, local Member of Parliament, the Honourable Henry Leonard, visited the project. So for me as a leader, I see Geo-Pacific Gold Project as an integral part for progressing and developing uh, some animal forward. Geo-Pacific coming on board and in line to progress into development, it gives us relief. It gives us certainty in terms of alternative income and opportunity for the district, for the allergies, and even the province, and especially the country too. They will now allow the country to prop up its uh, revenue and opportunities, and that will trickle down to the districts and the province uh, allergies. Roads Project Services have been engaged to manage the relocation of the Kulamadao village to an area outside the mining lease. Roads are currently overseeing a local team constructing new homes, schools, churches, trade stores and other community amenities. As part of Geo-Pacific's commitment to the community, the final design of the new housing was based on feedback from local residents, who will be given the new houses upon completion. The improvement in housing conditions is a significant driver for the success of the relocation, providing residents with proper sanitation and electricity for the first time. 
Houses are largely being built by the local residents to ensure ownership of the build, while upskilling and training the local people. Successful execution of these key work programs will strengthen Geo-Pacific's ability to secure debt funding on commercially viable terms.